Robbie, what's on your radar? Well, yesterday, San Francisco voters participated in the long-awaited special municipal election to recall three members of the school board, Gabriela Lopez, Allison Collins, and Fauga Maliga. As expected, the recall was successful, and now Democratic Mayor London Breed, who endorsed the recall, will appoint their successors. This is a prime example of the progressive left going so ridiculously far on woke culture battles that they actually completely neglected the needs of working families and engendered a backlash among conservatives, but also liberals, moderates, independents, really like anyone to the right of Robin DeAngelo, for anyone who was disappointed with the utterly misplaced priorities of the nation's worst education officials, this recall is deeply satisfying because of all the madness that Democratic-controlled school boards and teachers' union beholden politicians have wrought during the pandemic, nothing holds a candle to San Francisco schools. First, they remain closed to in-person learning until fall of 2021. So most of the city's 115 schools, which serve 50,000 students, were closed for over a year, from March 2020 to August 2021, even as nearby districts eventually reopened classrooms and private schools across the city held in-person classes noted local news channel KRCG. So around the country, other school districts in liberal cities made cursory efforts to at least try reopening in the winter of 2021, not San Francisco. Well, the school board was busy, you see, not trying to reopen the schools, they were trying to rename them. That's right, while parents and students were all dealing with the frustrations of virtual learning, district officials were working hard to change the names of 44 supposedly problematically named schools like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Diane Feinstein, she, she got in trouble too. They tried to rename a school that was named for her. Uh, the school board also came after El Dorado Elementary, which was named after the fictitious and apparently deeply offensive City of Gold, and Alamo Elementary, which the board wrongly assumed was named for the Battle of the Alamo, but is actually named for the Spanish poplar tree. So the board also, quote, cited incorrect history about Revolutionary War figure Paul Revere. They were trying to rename a Paul Revere High School, trying to steal land from the Penobscot people of Maine. So that's a false historical fact. The 1779 Penobscot expedition he took part in was actually an unsuccessful battle with the British who had landed in Penobscot territory and captured it a month earlier. There was no, it was not a Paul Revere-led genocide against the natives, as the school board would have you believe. So ignorance, misplaced priorities, profound disrespect for parents. That's what this was. In response, Mayor Breed said this, and now in the midst of this once in a century challenge to hear that the district is focusing energy and resources on renaming schools, schools that they haven't even opened, is offensive. It's offensive to parents who are juggling their children's daily at-home learning schedules with doing their own jobs and maintaining their sanity. It's offensive to me as someone who went to our public schools, who loves our public schools, and who knows how those years in the classroom are what lifted me out of poverty and into college. It's offensive to our kids who are staring at screens day after day instead of learning and growing with their classmates and friends. Quite right. So one of the three board members, Allison Collins, was particularly, particularly notable in that she possessed what I would describe as anti-Asian animus. She didn't like that schools admitting on basis of merit were admitting, in her view, too many Asians. In fact, she said merit was a racist concept. Let's listen to that. When we talk about merit, meritocracy, and especially meritocracy based on standardized testing, I'm just gonna say it, in this day and age, we cannot mince words. It, those are racist systems. Well, if you're gonna say that merit you know, is like fair, it's, it's the antithesis of fair and it's the anti antithesis of just. And so you, know, you can't use equity or you can't you know, talk about social justice and then say that you wanna have a selective school that keeps certain kids out from the neighborhoods that you think are dangerous like that's all kind of Trumpian language. And in San Francisco, I'm proud to be a member of this board and I'm proud of our families and our student leaders. And I'm, you know, I don't think we should be shy about naming those things. So this isn't hard. The person in charge of making the policy for schools shouldn't be someone who doesn't believe in merit. That would be like having your head doctor be someone who doesn't believe in anesthesia. Our schools should be places where all students can be encouraged to realize their potential. If you don't believe that's the mission, please stay out of the process. If you're more interested in scrubbing the name George Washington from a public building than figuring out how to get children the in-person learning they need, school board is not the right job for you. 
It was not the right job for three, these three individuals who lost uh, as they were expected to lose. They had everyone against them. So even uh, you know, liberal editorial boards endorsed the recall. <coughs> the mayor, who appointed one of the three, she endorsed the recall. That's never a good sign. Uh, everyone was just so frustrated with this kind of like almost comical, like beyond parody sort of like truly a parody of progressive governance where like the school's completely closed, no one can learn in them, <laughs> but they're they're desperately trying to rename them and then they're getting it wrong what they're renaming. So yeah. Paul, Paul Revere, it's I guess it's okay <laughs> to kill British people. Right, right. That, yeah, that was yeah, fine. When they that's realized fine. he'd only killed the oh, British, yes. Killed, killed the British. They were worried he, and, and I guess Which, maybe if he had killed Asian people, my, I'm not I, sure what I, they would have said know, about it. I, my people come from Ireland, so cool. Right, F yeah. Well, the Irish hate get the him. British, too. Get them. Yeah. Get, get the British, go Paul Revere, leave his name on there. I, the Dianne Feinstein one is perfect because it sets up so perfectly the, the dichotomy, the split between where this crowd sees itself and the real world. I'm not a Dianne Feinstein fan at all. No, right. I wish, she had, uh, I wish she had lost in her last election. She didn't. She coasted comfortably <laughs> right. to victory. She has been winning elections in San Francisco since like the 19th century. And so the public is okay with her because right. the public gets to weigh in right. every now and then. That's it. And they continue to send her back to office. And so on the and other hand, then you have this small group who's like, no, she's so bad. This person who keeps getting reelected is so bad, her name must be stripped from this school. And correct me if I'm wrong, but your, your criticism of her is probably not that she's a white supremacist, right? That's correct. <laughs> That's their criticism of her. That's correct. <laughs> they think she's a white supremacist? I mean, they, all, they think everyone's a white supremacist. Me, you, Paul Revere, George Washington. I mean, I mean look, the founders, yes, they have, we've, t we've talked about this at like Thomas Jefferson owned slaves. Not good, whatever. But there was no like no limiting principle. Abraham Lincoln. They wanted to take Abraham Lincoln's name off. Right. Well, because he said he said things uh, yeah. that are today problematic. Uh, yeah. Him and no question. Literally everyone else. He could also be the 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 closest and most effective ally of, of Frederick Douglass. Do, that doesn't matter. But that's you know. They'll that, probably, that, that's just uh, some of my best friends are black. That would you say know. they Saying would be more likely to say Douglas, we should also yeah. take Frederick Douglass's name off because he was he worked too accommodating these, of white yeah. supremacist Abraham Lincoln. Well, that is their thinking. Well, there were there were people to his left, William Garrison and others. Right, right. Who, Garrison actually came around later and said that Douglass was right, but there were plenty of people to Douglass's left right. who, who made that John argument Brown, at the time. They, they would try yeah. to cancel him. Yeah. Well, actually, Douglass met with Brown uh, ahead of that ahead of those that that raid. And, and Douglas was, decided not to get involved. He, right? he, he suggested against it. He was like, right. I think this is, this is a bad idea and it's going to get you all killed. Which is exactly what but happened. But he didn't have any problem with the idea itself, like if it right. had worked, which good for him. Right. I mean, and it could have worked. Could John, have. It could have worked. Right. God, I wish that had worked. We could have had, you know, just ended, you know, not had to have the whole Civil War. If, Sounds if good. That, if that would have worked. Sounds good. Anyway, uh, yeah. So they all lost or what? All three. Yep. Bad? Yeah, it was like 70%. Yeah. It's pretty, so, pretty do you, so you decisive. think this will land? Do you think people, do you think the progressives, the left, liberals will, Democrats, That's what we hope, we hope will take notice of this? That's what we hope sends a message like everything else. Like, don't, don't go, don't be crazy. You can't be crazy. The school You can't even be, be crazy in San Francisco. You can't be crazy in San Francisco. Um, and yes, we, we don't want to hear from the meritocratic class, the winners of this merit, meritocracy right. lottery. That all of a sudden, right. the lottery is no good. Right. And there, right, there's one way to say that merit is an imperfect concept. People have a mm -hmm. leg up. Especially That's when all people fine. start from structural disadvantages. People yeah, start exactly. from structural disadvantages. But they were going beyond that in, in saying just like, like we can't, we can't help. It, it gets into that again. It gets into that like aspects of white supremacy culture type thing where it's like, well, white people are the har are har value hard right. work and objective truth and all these good things. Right. And people of color, you know, they're like different and it's, it's okay because yeah. you're different. It's like, no, that's not true. That's absolutely not yeah. true. Don't teach kids that. Right. They're getting into that kind of stuff. Right. So. Yeah. You come back around and wind up being racist. Right. Being racist. And yeah. so people reject it. People so, rejected it. Yeah. So London Breed will get to appoint. Uh, so that's how the, the election works, apparently. So now she'll just appoint. She'll fill those three positions. Ah. So, so, so it's still, still going to be Democrats. Still going to be progressive Democrats. But progressive Democrats who are OK with El Dorado Elementary <laughs> remaining El Dorado Elementary. The Alamo. As are most of us. <laughs> the Alamo. It's named after a tree. <laughs> named after a tree. Ignorance.
All right, well, I'm looking forward to your radar coming up next.